for the last few months we realized we've been displaying our watches for sale in our cabinets and then we thought to ourselves we're not actually selling watches out of our cabinets the majority of the people that come here they know exactly what they want they've seen the watches on the website and we can always recommend watches for you while you're here and then we can bring them up from the safe and sit down and have a beautiful chat with you show you beautiful watches so we thought what can we do with the displays that is a little bit different than what everybody does then we came to the idea of turning the store into a watch museum our way of sharing our pure passion with you and the rest of the watch community it's also another way to entertain our clients while they're here looking at the watches that they love and the watches that they're after after all selling watches is just how we make a living and our true passion lies in collecting watches just remember, we're not just watch collectors by name, but also by nature. So what should you expect when you come into our museum? Is it vintage? Is it modern? Well, it's gonna be all over the place. It's gonna be vintage, modern. I'm probably better off showing you than telling you. You're gonna run across a lot of one-off pieces as well. Things that only exist in one in the world. I can guarantee you, you're bound to see something that you've never seen before in our museum. Here we have a handful of examples, starting with the Audemars Piguet Platinum Tourbillon Skeleton, beautifully decorated front and back with a bumper rotor sandwiched between the beautiful movement and a beautifully made backplate. Whilst this watch is fairly rare, what makes it more rare is the fact that this is production number one. So you're guaranteed that there's only gonna be one of these in the world. Of course, there's also only one number two and number three, but those numbers don't matter. This is the one that does. Then followed by another AP, one that is very close to my heart and absolutely special. This is a perpetual calendar split chronograph minute repeater moon phase. Absolutely stunning piece, what a mouthful. And genuinely, not only that it looks great, it sounds even better. A watch like this is incredibly hard to find and whilst we don't usually like to talk prices when it comes to our private collection and just to give you a quick idea this watch last retailed at $875,000 but what made it really attractive to us is not the price tag it's just look at this beauty the reason I hold on to things like this is not because we just want to maximize how much money we make when we sell it it's more of I have a fear of selling it and not being able to buy something similar in the future because as a function as an aesthetic it's an absolutely stunning piece and I just can't see myself being able to find another one anytime soon and that's why we decide to keep these things I'm gonna be switching up to Rolex and I promise you I left the best to last here we have one of the cleanest 18238s I've ever seen with a beautiful night sky you have a lapis style with absolutely zero hour markers on it it literally looks like a night sky I mean I really hope the close-ups will represent this dial as good as they actually should it's absolutely Absolutely stunning one of the best things about this is how clean it is and not only that it's very rare to find a Rolex with zero hour markers it doesn't even have luminous hands it's as minimalistic and as clean as it can get and the blue against the gold color is absolutely insane plus matching it you've got that gold dust in the lapis I really really love this watch one of those things where else are you gonna be able to find not just this watch but a set of watches like this placed in cabinets right next to each other let me take you on to something else that is quite rare but also a little bit on the deceiving side you might look at this Rolex day date 18038 that is almost gone a little bit rosy from the oxidization of the gold and think wow this is a very rare baguette bezel diamond dial single quick day date that has been unpolished and it's almost gone coppery rosy color you're right my friend but this is the deceiving part of it it's also got an Omani crest engraved on the back of it this is something that we collect heavily and of course I will always say if you've got one for sale please do contact us I'll be one of the biggest bidders on it besides the rarity of the combination it's the condition as well this is what I call a rare watch and also a rare find because sometimes a simple watch could not be an actual rare watch but it's a rare find a watch that has been unpolished untouched for so many years this for me is very close to new old stock genuinely the edges are still nice and sharp zero stretch to the bracelet 
it, the color of the gold is gonna be darker. It just ticks every single box of a collector, even if it didn't have an Omani crest on the back, even if it didn't have the baguette bezel or the diamond dial. For me, I would still classify this as a rare find because it's just very hard to find watches this old in this condition. After all, it is a presidential. After all, it is one of the biggest and most iconic watches that Rolex ever make. I am a man of my word and I promise you the best to last and I'm gonna keep with that. And here we have probably one of the rarest Rolex day dates that you can come across. A watch that I actually feel very blessed and privileged to be holding in my hands. What we have here is a Rolex day date with an XL diamond dial, diamond bezel, diamond shoulders and an octopus diamond bracelet. The reason it's referred to as the octopus is because of the style of the bracelet. The way the diamonds are set it looks like an octopus's tentacles. Having an octopus bracelet tends to be fairly rare, very very hard to find and quite expensive. You'll have to pay the hefty price to own one. What is even more rare is the fact that this is on the sapphire crystal glass version. You will tend to see these watches and I say tend as if it's common. It's not common at all but when you do find one it tends to be on the older plexiglass. Whilst this one came on a sapphire quickset model for you not to think that these bracelets have been swapped around they will have different numbers on the bracelet. On the bracelet ending it's different for the plastic glass and the sapphire crystal glass. This is probably one of the rarest examples I've ever seen and handled and we're known to be one of the biggest day date collectors in the world. So why am I showing this now? This is a watch that I don't usually like to show on the internet. Eventually we wanted a way to share our passion, we wanted a way to display the things that we have without actually having to sell them on our website and we finally came up with the idea of running a museum that is going to be free for everybody to access and with the promise that you're going to see something that you've never seen in your life before and it's our way of sharing our passion with you. Again we're not going to get into numbers because these watches were never intended to be for sale and this is why we wanted to run the shop like a museum rather than a retail shop. If I really want to talk numbers this is probably a price of a very nice house for most people. Numbers is not going to be something for us right now. The whole point of running the shop as a museum was to share our passion with you. So how will this work? Well the shop is going to be open as usual for business but the watches that are going to be displayed are going to be of our own personal collection and it's just going to be there for us to have a beautiful conversation with our customers and with people that just want to check out something that is really cool, something that they cannot see anywhere around London or possibly around the world. And then what we intend on doing every now and then we intend on making set dates to put more of the collection on display with ultra rare pieces and do special events by invitation only and run like evening events with food, drink and just have a nice chat with clients, friends, family and whoever really wants to join. But those events will have to be done by invitation only. Those events will have to be pre-arranged. But I promise you even just on the day-to-day -day basis just give us a visit come and check us out we're on 21 22 Grosvenor Street in Mayfair we're always going to be open for you you're always going to be welcome in our store and I look forward to seeing you and hopefully you look forward to seeing some of the rarest watches in the world put up on a display in Mayfair in London take care guys and I'll see you in the next one